Welcome back, everybody, to Primetime Strategy. It's me, your armchair general. No hardcore out-in-the-field type work today. Instead, we're going to take a break, pour ourselves a drink, pick up a notepad, and just enjoy some light theory for today. We're getting back into the foundational fundamental uh, fundamentals of TA by having a look at some of the basic unit commands. We're going to focus on the hotkeys so that you can be a little more efficient out there on the battlefield because it's, it slows you down if all you can use is the mouse. So we're going to cover some basics, move on to some more complicated stuff, and hopefully we'll all come out of this knowing a little bit more. First up, just uh, A for attack. With an offensive unit selected, just hit A. Click around to attack some places. I use the left click interface for TA, because I'm a bit old school like that. So just left clicking is move, but you can also use the M key to actually move units around. Holding in shift is your controller for this to queue up orders. So I can go M and then hold in shift and queue up a, a chain of move orders here for the commander. And he'll follow this path until it's done. Next we have, what's next? Reclaim, which is E. So that disables your move, uh, your move cursor, at least in left click, and you can reclaim anything that's reclaimable. So anything around here that we can reclaim, the commander will go and do it. Next up is repair, which you can uh, get to with R. Anything that's damaged will come up with the repair icon. Patrolling is uh, something that any unit can do, anything, any unit that can move at least. Just uh, if it's standing idle and you hit P and give it a spot to patrol, it'll patrol to that spot and then back to where it was standing. But if uh, even if a unit's idle, if you hit M first, click a move spot, then use Shift and P to queue up a patrol spot, it'll move to the space you tell it to, then to its patrol route, and then back to the first spot that it had. G is for guard, and you can guard anything. So if anything gets damaged that you need a repair that you want to focus on, you can just select a con unit or your commander, hit G, and there's the G, the uh, guard cursor, and guard it. With a lab, uh, the commander will assist it in constructions, so that's a handy one to know. Next we have unit selections. So we can group up units in squads to make it sort of slightly easier to control them out on the battlefield. First though, if you have a subset of units selected like this, these two peewees, and you use Control Z, you will select all units of that same type across the map. To group units, have the, the selected group that you want, then use Control 1 or 2 or 3 up to 9, and you can see a little number there, and it'll tell you what squad that is. If you don't see that number and you don't see these health bars, the key to the left of 1, the tilde key, will uh, turn those on for you. With squads selected, Say so if I select some POEs and Control Z, it'll even grab these ones with the squad selected. But then if I just want to manipulate that one squad, recall them just with the number that they are. Next thing is screen capture. So if you're playing on a fairly large map like this one, it could be worth having a couple screen positions just loaded in memory that you can that you can you know switch back to if you need. To do this. Set the screen where you want it and use Control F5 or F6 or F7 and you can set screen location with a little beep and then when you press F5 or F6, whichever key you used, it'll snap back and forth. Very, very useful. Next is, uh, well I don't have anyone here, but the, uh, the, the transport planes, the transport units, uh, L is for load and U is for unload. I don't have anyone here in this particular map. Just take my word for it. So some other slightly more esoteric uh, commands might be plus and minus to change the speed of the game. You can also do this in multiplayer, multiplayer, but all players in multiplayer can do it. So people will, will pretty quickly settle on a speed that they like. Enter will bring up the chat bar. So you can, you can have some dance. Tab. We'll uh, pause the game and bring up options. It also seems to bring up the mega, uh, the mega map in Mayhem. I did not know that. I use F2 to pause the game. F4 brings up the scoreboard in the top right. And, wow, I think I cleared that up pretty quickly. Yeah, gee. Guess there's not much else to the hotkeys. This should be all that you need, honestly. So if you can set if you can set squads, if you can set your screens, if you can get to your commander quickly, for instance with Control C,
You see, with, with using these keys, you don't have to keep moving your mouse over to the side to click. You can really get some units going. Remember, T is for tracking units. So what I did just there was I grabbed these peewees here, Control Z to select all of them, I gave them a move order, then I hit 1 to select my previous peewee squad, then T to track, and there they are, on my screen, already in motion. So you can cut down on a lot of micromanagement by sort of using some of these things. If you have very high value units, keep them to a control group, put your commander on a control group if you like, although the Control C command is universally for the commander. Oh, before I go, there is one command I did forget. A very important one. If you hit Control D, you blow up your units. <laughs>